Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna star like my wedding preparation video. Um, today is the 7th of July. Um, so there's about seven weeks to my wedding. I am so like stressed out, not stressed out, overwhelmed more than anything because I have so much to do. And there's glare in my glasses. So, yeah, I got new glasses a couple of days ago. Um, so, at, it's 8.31 at night. Um, I am home alone. My roommate's gone to his fiance's place and my partner's at work. I have been, like, preparing here and there, like, all the little stuff. So, today, I well, tonight, I got most, like, my guest list finalized finally it's, it was finalized but I added a few people took some off and like I didn't know numbers so I wanted to know if I needed like to add more plates of food but I think we're good I'm gonna move um so at the moment I am listening to Ed Sheeran I usually just listen to music uh, sorry. And I did a sh shopping trip. Um, it should be a vlog. You will see it by now. But I got these photo frames for like two dollars. And inside, I got things. So this one's signed our guest book. I just found it online. I liked it. Um, this one I'm re undoing. And it's just like thank you and for our yeah, thank you gifts. Um, there's I left the normal what it comes with in and you can see it through the paper which I don't like. Um, there is a little crack on it so I don't know if I want to like get a new one but you can't see it unless you're like really up close. And for where we'll be. Yeah. And also in a video you probably would have seen I go oops stuck to the page um a purple chocolate I am in the middle of painting a white but I don't think it's gonna go fully white but I like it like that you can see the bit of purple and the polka dots though um also we got a build a bear well a cheaper version builder bear is called stuffless and this is modern or I like to call him Morty don't ask why the name my partner chose her and it's for when we do have future kids so yeah um more writing stuff here um I got batteries for lights which will be a DIY thing wishing wells not done yet. Hopefully tomorrow. I've just been doing nothing all day basically. And I'm getting it all done now. Got the heat on because it's cold. So yeah. Um, that's it for seven weeks to go. Um, I think I'm done all my online shopping. Um, still need to pay Celebrant. Finally got heard back from our photographer because I've been emailing him like two or three times and I haven't heard back. So I Facebooked him, found his website and just Facebooked him. Um, so yeah, still need to download all our music because we are having a band. We're just having a stereo because it's cheaper and in a budget. Called free. <laughs> I just didn't get USBs. So yeah, um, seven weeks to go. It's exciting and stressful. <laughs> um, yeah. Then after this wedding, I got my sister-in-law's wedding, and I made a bonnet with that. And I need to get a dress for that. <laughs> so the plan this weekend is, um. Finish that wishing well.
So basically I've got this grey box here. Down there you can probably see a bag. Like there. That's my niece and nephew's outfits and shoes underneath. And this other cube next to it is flowers. Then we've got the wishing well and that box full of wedding stuff. I have nowhere to put stuff. Especially in a small unit. It will be gone soon, hopefully. So, yeah. So, it's still seven weeks before the wedding. It's officially seven weeks today. It's the... What day is it? Let me have a joke. I don't know what day it is. It's the 8th of July. Um... I have a bag right there full of stuff for kids to do. So I have about six kids coming to my wedding. My two just said, my family just said no. So yeah, about four kids coming. So each child will be getting 25 pencils, which I have right here. How do you get more? Um. Two animals, a rubber, there's fish and pineapple, a pencil which will go with the activity book, stamps, and a bouncy ball. So all ends up in this. I was gonna get mason jars, but I couldn't find ones I like. And they did come with a straw, but I thought with kids, I know one's about 10, 11, and then the others, I think the youngest one under that is two and a half, and that is my nephew. So plastic turned out better. Um, and each kid is gonna have an activity book. I'll go get it. So this is the book. This is just a decoy to like see how it looks. It is actually two wedding books in one because I wanted it a little bit longer than just four pages. So it has I do and a book made just for you. Um has a color decorate the cakes. Um it does have blank pages for them to draw in. Um, I'll turn you over and have a look. So you have the title page, decorate the cakes, that every second page it is a blank page. Then word search, decorate the cake again, another blank page, color the bride, decorate another cake. Blank page, tic tac toe, another word search. Blank page, a dotted dot color in the groom. Blank page, match the numbers to the rings. More tic tac toe. Blank page, um, color in the flowers, and then. Colour in the bride and groom as they drive away to their honeymoon. That is a book. I'll leave the links that I got them from, from down below. They were free. And like I said, it was two in one. So I did get them of two sides. And I just tied them with twine. And each of them is going to have a pencil. Because these pencils don't fit in these. So... I need to do four more of these. I'm making eight just in case. Um, yeah, it's exciting. And just trying to get things done on my days off because I really can't afford to have more days off just to plan. I feel better, I feel calmer as I did last week when I had a freak out. So, yeah, so.
seven weeks to go. It's getting real. <laughs> of July there's five weeks four days I just look I just filmed a wedding update because my last one kind of just yeah didn't work I did get a package today um I got wedding favors so I kind of ordered double as I went and figured it out this morning, all I could do was laugh. It was like, there were a dollar fifty for 12. I thought there was only six in a packet, but there's 12. So I ordered 120 instead of 60. So yeah. <laughs> um, since that's one updated, my wishing well is done. Yay. And I've Oop, falling off the lounge. Boxes for the girls. My bridesmaids. Thank you gifts. I... Oop, trying to open it with one hand. Not working. You got like these little necklaces. I got two of them and then I got jackets and I'm going to pull um, bridesmaid maid of honor on the back and yeah um, yeah that's it for five weeks four days I am going probably start making the chocolate for the thank you gifts because that's going to take a while I didn't make a sampler yesterday, but I didn't leave them in the fridge long enough, so they kind of melted straight away. So basically, I just went to all west, got some stuff, but I thought, what well, before I cook dinner because it's still a little bit too early for me to eat. I'm gonna make up a batch of chocolates. So I did test them yesterday, so the bag is still open. So I got these Cadbury milks. They're just milk chocolate, nothing fancy, just in case people don't like white or dark. I bought this silicone heart shape mold off eBay. It was like five dollars. Um, still a little bit wet from washing it. Um, there's 55 hearts and they're very tiny, so I'm thinking about putting like five or six in each bag. So, first, I need to get a bowl. My roommate go back away, save bowls. So, yeah. Spoon to stir. Need to plug in the microwave. We turn it off every time we don't use it to save power. Pouring like that much. Hopefully it's enough to do 55. Or well, just enough, hopefully. Hopefully I don't have it much. Put it in for two minutes but check every 30. So I'll be back when they're done. So it's been about two and a half minutes. That's what it looks like. Nothing fancy. I have a sandwich bag and a cup. And I'm going to pour the chocolate into here so it's easier to transfer it into this. So I'm just going to pour that into that. Chocolate and watch out, it will be hot. As I say, if you do this, 
it will be hot. Mm. Oh, don't do that because chocolate will get everywhere. Be careful and cut the tip, like very tiny. Jesus, how many I got? I didn't get seven of them, but that's okay. It's a little bit messy, but the chocolate was pouring really fast. Um, I just like tapped it to fill them all out, and I'm gonna put it in the fridge. And obviously, when it's dry, the chocolate like here yeah, will like go away. We'll come off and chocolate for me to eat. So. Chocolates are in the fridge. Um, they have been for a few hours. I am talking to my roommate on Facebook, but I thought why I'm kind of home alone and can't get some stuff. I'm going to do our jackets for the wedding day. Um, they're the personalized ones with like bride to be made, bridesmaid maid of honor. Um, but when I found them online, they were like $45 each um, <clears throat> and I couldn't really afford that so instead I got jackets so these were $15 from Best and Less they're like just normal hoodies the blue one's mine the pink one's my bridesmaid and the curl is my maid of honor who is also my sister-in-law and oh eBay, I got like the Diamante, so this one's made of honor. Um, bridesmaid, and bride to be. So I'm gonna do that. I got these off eBay for like a dollar fifty each. I think the most expensive one was this one. But other than that, they were only a couple bucks. And it was so much cheaper than buying the whole things. Because they couldn't get them once, wear them once. And I'm sure you can take these off after and they can just have normal size jackets to keep warm in winter. And to get them, I had to go through big box of wedding stuff. It has rings, certain pieces, um, ties, my fail, my belt, got everything in it. later I'm finally done all of them that was way too much hassle than it was worth but I guess when you try to DIY stuff it's gonna take a little bit longer than getting a package in the mail um so that is the maid of honor and then the bridesmaid then the bride to be which is down here they're not perfect um, I can say that if they're not perfect, but it's for one day and if they fall off, they fall off. So the boxes are almost done. Um, so basically it has the jumpers, the necklaces to wear on a wedding day, and I wrote a letter which I need to print off to put in there just saying thank you and like how years being together. So basically my maid of honor is my sister-in-law. She's my partner's brother's fiance. Um we've been we known each other since high school. Um she was my stepbrother's best friend. And then they split apart. Then one day I went over to my partner's house and she was there. And we just became really good friends, more like sisters. And yeah, um, my bridesmaid, 
Um, we became friends in uni almost four years ago. Um, we got really close. We had the same background of childcare, then going into teaching. Obviously, I did drop out of uni. She is still there. Well, she is taking semester off to have bubs. And one thing with this wedding is, like, we don't know if she's going to be there. Um, if she is, she is. If not, she's off having bobs in the hospital. Which is 100% okay. Um, so I need to go print that off. I want to edit, well, start editing my wedding update and take some of these videos off my phone because I ran out of space. Um... So yeah, the boxes are almost done. And I think that is it, what I'm doing tonight. If I do anything, I'll probably just set up my favourite box, thank you gifts box. But yeah, these are the main things I wanted to get done today. And I do hide mine somewhere. I'll put it somewhere so I don't lose it.